Well, there's no doubt about it. Fukushima's going to have to put a little bit more juice on the ball. We saw Hazinski play the mixed doubles, and she had no problem handling the men's pace um, and spin. So, Kern's going to definitely need to pull out a little bit more. Oh, there we go. There it is. She remains in the point with the block and then opens up with some attack of her own. She's going to definitely need to do more of that if she expects to get back in this match. Pretty impressive. Several blocks in a row and then a fast one down the line to get Sarah out of position. Okay. Looks like we have an outer match complete because the stands are filling back in. There's a lot of rumbling and bustling going on around behind us. but. I think she knows that she has to be aggressive here, so. I That's see a lot of pressure. Yeah, definitely. Being forced into a game you're not comfortable with really can mess with your head when you're playing at this level, and there's so much at stake. You never want to lose to a person in back-to-back -back rounds. Lose to a person in back-to-back -back rounds. Did she lose to Sarah earlier? Last year in the same uh, round. Excuse me, back-to-back -back years. Oh, I see, I see. Same round. Uh, That's tough. You have a whole year to think about what you can do. Every time you're showering, every time you're going to sleep, you're like, what can I do to change my strategy to beat this person? Got to figure something out. Ooh. Net ball. A little bit of luck. An older gentleman once told me never. You'd rather be lucky than good. Yeah, I heard that from some older people before, too. I heard a younger guy say it at Trader Joe's the other day, but I think he was quoting an older person, so I know where it comes from. Respect to the older players, if any of you are out there listening. We a love lot. you for all of your wisdom that you provide. Your Maybe quirks. not the long pips, but we love you for your wisdom. <laughs> oh, man. Long pips. Good old long pips. Doctor, what can I do? Switch to long pips. Oh, okay. It's the only way you're going to be able to keep playing. Long pips. Okay. Well, it depends on what doctor they're asking. <laughs> Could Dr. be Dr. Neubauer? Scholes or Dr. Neubauer. Uh. Oh, let me grab that. Oh, you got it? A ball just flew into the announcing booth here. Cat-like reactions when you have two table tennis players announcing. I'm so lonely here. Oh, Joe's back. He already retrieved the ball. Ball almost caught me in the eye. Excuse me. Reaction time of table tennis players is much faster than most. So I always, I always like driving with table tennis players. Ooh. I think Willie Leparulo is trying to radio me. 6-9 here. Let's see what Curran's going to do. Ooh. Taking the attack. Sarah lot. going for the counter. Let's see if Hazinski here can finish this game. Ooh. Corinne keeping it short. Sarah with a big whiff. Keep cooling us down over here in the announcing booth. Wow, funny ball coming off those pips. A familiar score for Sarah. She remembers the first game where she finished it at 9-9. Corinne getting, getting the opportunity again. Let's see if she can capitalize on it. What serve should I do? What serve should I do? All right, here it comes. Let's service. Ooh. Top of the net, but it doesn't go in, and she's got game point for the first time this match. This is exactly what she needs to get her confidence back up. Oh, ooh, and she takes and she it. She takes the third game. All right, back in it, 1-2. That's one more game than she got last year, so that is a, a kind of a moral victory all within itself.